In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips and advice that's going to help you do traffic lights in a better and more efficient way. I've noticed over the last few weeks uh, via the comments on my YouTube channel and from some emails I've been sent as well, that some people have serious misunderstandings around traffic lights and others just have plain bad habits that have acquired and developed over time. So I'm going to explain what these bad habits and misunderstandings are so you don't make these same mistakes. So let's get on with it. So the first tip here is to be aware of uh, filter lanes as you get closer to the traffic lights. You can see here, uh, just, just up there, there's a filter lane, which is a special protected area where you can go for a right turn. As I said in my last video uh, last week on changing lanes, it is incredibly important that you double check your mirrors uh, just before you enter the filter lane, in addition to the mirrors checks you would have got a couple of seconds ago before you indicated. So that's the first thing. Always double check the mirrors when you're going into a filter lane. Now, as we get closer to the uh, line up there, we have to make a note of the road markings. So you'll notice uh, there, first of all, we have the first white line, which is the place where we stop just before the first white line. Just beyond the first white line is something called a cycle bay. So that's a place that cyclists can wait. It's kind of called uh, an advanced stop line as well. So cars must not wait there. That is reserved for cyclists. So it's important we know where to stop. Um, further up, we'll notice a turning box. This is to encourage us to go into the middle once the light goes green. Um, but we'll also notice uh, just on the far side, a double set of lights. So we have a regular set of lights uh, just here, but just attached uh, to the right is another set of lights and they could potentially hold filter lights as they will, as you'll see uh, once we play the video. So these are all things to be aware of as you get closer to your first white line. So as I said, we stop at the first white line uh, just there. Uh, that's the place we stop and any time here at the lights I'm stopping I'm using the handbrake Okay, uh, just for security and because it's on a hill as well. So uh, I'll definitely be using the handbrake here So we have a slightly better view now of the turning box as I said a few moments ago once the light goes full green That's a circular green light once it goes full green I do not wait where I currently am waiting when the light goes full green, I must roll up into the center of the junction as this shows good progress and it shows good position. If you do not roll up, you're going to lose marks for a progress turning right at traffic lights. So the light is just about to go green now. And once it goes green, I'm going to check my mirrors, make sure everything's okay. And I'm going to roll up into the center of the junction, right into the center of the box, giving way to oncoming cars going straight, as you can see there, because they're doing less work. Now, if we just hold it there, we'll see that a filter light has just come on over there. So I was just mentioning that earlier on in the video about the filter light and there that there it has come on now. So that gives me the right to go right, but I still have to make sure it's safe to go anyway. Now I'm going to pull off in a second here, but I want to explain firstly before I eventually finish my turn here, how important the following um, tip is. And that is don't stare the one way too long. I've noticed in comments and in emails, uh, a lot of people from the feedback I've been getting, they seem to be focusing on the one thing too much. So in a lot of cases, they're focusing too much on this area here, like cars coming down. They're so focused on the cars coming down that they forget to be scanning the junction and they may miss the filter light uh, or they may see it late or possibly they may miss the light subsequently going amber and red and then they kind of accidentally gets stuck in the middle of the junction which is a bad mistake and that's going to cause you to fail because you cannot stay stranded in the middle like once you've gone up to the middle like I have here you have to then be prepared to eventually see out the junction because if you stay there you're going to block other cars from either side when their turn comes to uh, complete their junction and it's going to cause you to fail so it's very important to be aware of everything here don't stare the one way Keep an eye on the markings, keep an eye on the cars you're giving way to, and keep an eye on the lights, because they will change colour. So notice then when the filter light comes on, I'm able to get a quick mirror check, and I look into the road in which I'm going, as well as keeping an eye up the other road to make sure nobody else is breaking a red light on their side. 
It's important to keep scanning the junction even as I'm turning just in case another car is breaking a light or in case a cyclist hasn't stopped for a red light on their side. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit that like button and I'll be back very soon with another video. In fact, I'll be back on Saturday with a live stream at three o'clock in the afternoon. So I hope you'll join me then. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.